Oh my goodness. Hello. Hello. Can you guys hear me? I need to go over to Instagram and put that on. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. I think I need to go to Instagram for a second and click a button and then I will be right back. And I am here to answer any and all questions. I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> Taylor, if you're there, figure out Instagram. <laughs> we are here today. Mandy and I are here to talk about our Speak Easy Showgirl, which is airing this Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And I'm so excited. Oh, look at this. You'll find it at the top of your feed. Okay, Taylor, I'm getting a notification from Instagram that says, once you're live, if your stream is public, you'll find it at the top of your feed on Instagram. Can you click something there? Go live. That's hilarious. This is also a practice run for Sunday. Yes. In full transparency. And so, full costume. And full costume. So we don't screw up anything. Come showtime on um, on Sunday. So we're very excited. So just so in case you know, Mandy's actually going to be arting along the whole time with me. So if you're new to art, or you're feeling a little bit insecure. You're not alone. No. <laughs> Mandy is here with you. And while she has done some art projects with mm -hmm. me, she's usually so busy behind the scenes, writing, organizing, mm -hmm. making things beautiful. She doesn't have time to do all the projects. Yes. So, um, and I've never done it live in front of people. <laughs> so to have the camera here on both of us, that's going to be new for me. Yeah. She's a little nervous. So in case you're feeling a little nervous or like, how is it even possible that I will even be able to do that? Just so you know, you're not alone. Um, and you will do awesome. I mm -hmm. promise you, I will walk you so, so, so super step by step. Um, so I really just want to show up today, make sure our tech is working, like I said, and also answer any questions you might have. I was getting some questions about um, canvas size, which I think is a really awesome question and a great place to start. Mm -hmm. So um, let me just... First of all, we'll pause for just a minute too and say hi to people because I see lots of people coming in. So I just want to say hi as well. So Tony was the first one on. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. She's a lovely, uh, she's a lovely, awesome art school member. Yes. And Jill right now, um, Julian has already picked, has already taken a picture of herself in her full speakeasy show yes. girl wear. So good on you, girl. And now you, right now, you are the automatic winner for our costume contest. So if you <laughs> didn't know, we're also hosting a costume contest. And all you have to do is take a picture of yourself in your amazing full outfit. Your, like you're all of your amazingness, just like we are. <laughs> and you can post a picture in our Facebook group and I will actually draw a winner during the live, um, during at some portion of the creation process on Sunday, and the winner will receive all three copies of uh, my Art Deco book series, which I created during COVID. So this is how I coped with COVID. Yes. As I wrote these books, I wrote a series of Learn to Draw Art Deco. I absolutely am totally enamored by 1920s and 30s for the most part, just those. I could like live there all day long. Um, and so I went super deep in how to draw everything from faces to fashion to shoes to jewelry, accessories. And then I got so carried away, I made a volume two. And then I did the dudes and I did furniture and, and cars dogs. and dogs <laughs> and cocktails. And I went crazy because I love, 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 love mm -hmm. this era and this genre. And then I went even further and I put them into uh, some of the black and white versions into a fun, uh, fun fab flappers coloring book. So Whoever wants to win those for totally free, all you have to do is put a picture of yourself in the Facebook group. So before two o'clock, before on Sunday, two o'clock on Sunday, because otherwise I won't see it. So if you're not in my Facebook group, come on over. It's super free. It's super <laughs> fun. I'm putting the link in the notes, but in the comments. But it's if you just search Awesome Art School, the groups on Facebook, you will find us there. Um. And so, yeah, I didn't want to forget, but Jillian's already done it. So she's the winner right now. So she would be more than happy if no one else posted. So she could just get all my books. So if you want to get all my books as well, then get on it, my friends. 
Go order mm-hmm. yourself a fancy schmancy little headpiece. I will have to say Amazon has they have a million gorgeous ones and they're not expensive. No, they're not they're like expensive. $10, $15. Yeah, you can get I've seen from like 6 bucks. Mm-hmm. That's all you would have to do. You would be told I would let you slide in with just a headpiece for <laughs> sure. Um also all the magical team members at Awesome Arts School mm-hmm. will also be dressing up. So you'll have little sneak peeks of them as well for the after party. For the after party. Yes. So um, in case you're a Mixed Media Society member and you didn't read the newsletter that I sent yesterday, we're having our happy hour after the live, just so you know. Um, instead, I moved it from Friday to afterwards because I feel like we're all going to be dressed up. Mm-hmm. Let's like, can take the party uh, onwards and upwards after that. Um, so let's see. Does anyone have any questions for me? Or do you want me to just gl- gl- like go over the supplies in general? You're not really no. late, Louise. You're good. You're good. We're just blabbling here. We're just here in case you have any questions. Um, we can answer them for you. And I don't. And if you don't, then we'll just let you go, and you guys can keep rocking on your day. But we want to show up and inspire you and answer any questions that you may have. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> You're super funny. Hi. Hi. Hi, Jan. <laughs> Jeanette's here. Thanks for helping. And Louise. Hi, Jeanette. I'm loving all your ballerinas, Louise, by the way. Oh, I really yeah. enjoyed watching all those. You got them all carried away, and I just love it so much. It's the best. Oh, my God, Angie Jones. You're the tw- Taylor Swift of the art world. I don't even know what that means, but I feel like that's a big compliment. I'm loving yeah, it. Yeah, it is. I some T-Swift, so thanks. I love Art Deco, too, Lynn. And hello to Lynn and Suzanne and Susan. We have lots of Su- mm-hmm. Susie. And Sandy Reed is here. Oh, hi, Sandy. Hi. And Jill is here. Oh, and we have a – oh, you know, I saw your name – Raylene, newcomer, and I was going to say, we have a newcomer, but that's just your name, so I don't even know what I'm saying right now, <laughs> but it's nice to see you. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so, okay, so, oh, and look at Moira, is that how you say it? You're in my favorite place in the, oh, in the whole wide world, which is Scotland. I'm coming so to, to your place in, um, in June. Mandy and I have been mm-hmm. to Scotland together quite a Mm-hmm. We love it. Awesome. And in case you guys don't know, Mandy is a really big behind the scenes helper. She's been with me for years. So I know a lot of you, and I talk about Mandy every single week in the newsletter, but Thank like, you. here she is in the actual <laughs> flesh. She's a real person. Yeah. So, um, I'm just a behind so the yeah. camera kind of girl, usually. <laughs> not this time, but my this friend. Time not. Yes. Oh, and thank you, Angie. I, that makes more sense now. Yes. That was definitely me. That was definitely me. All right. So I don't see actually any questions. So I'm not even going to, I'm not going to like linger here too long, but I will just say, because the biggest question I have seen in, I will address is canvas size. So I just want to touch on that for a second, which is I've given everyone uh, traceables for this because anyone who does mixed media with me, even though I teach drawing, when you're doing mixed media with me, I always give you a traceable because there's a lot going on. We don't need like to make it harder on ourselves. Mm-hmm. So I, what I want you to do though, is print out that traceable that I gave. You'll notice there's, I gave it in two and two sizes. You have like a single sheet size. This to me is too small because we're going to need to be getting in her eyes with some like gelatos and larger things. It's really hard to work that small. So you might be wondering, why I would give you something that looked like this when it was like chopped off in both pages. And the reason I did that is for you to have one to work with that's a little bit bigger scale. So what you can do is tape these together so you have a little bit perfect, better, bigger size. Yeah. So I'm, I think we're going to be working on 12 by 16. So I kind of large for me, which is very small for me. <laughs> So I would say minimum would be 11 by 14 minimum. Um, but even I would say 12 by 16, go for it. She is pretty long too. Mm-hmm. So it, trust me when I say it's just easier. It's just easier painting when it's a little bit larger. Um, another little hot tip I want to share for all my awesome people who are here is I would actually cut off. See how there's all this leftover. It's really hard to use transfer paper through two sheets of paper. So I actually would like trim this off so oh, that there's helpful. not a huge overlap. Yeah. Transfer secrets, hot tip. So 
And then even to go one step further, I use like a pretty sharp gel pen to do the transferring. In case you're like, what is this transfer paper? I still feel like an 80s rocker with my bangs. <laughs> I'm going to have to go to no bangs on the, the show day. I just didn't have time to do my hair for this today. Because yeah, I feel like 80s rocker. So this, and don't use graphite transfer. Use carbon transfer paper. It works magical. It works much better. So um Make sure that you have some good carbon transfer paper. It's also, it might, it, it's not expensive, but you can also reuse, I reuse the same sheet mm -hmm. like over and over and over again. Um, so it's, it's super, it's super well worth it. Um, and yes, so that's my little hot tip about surfaces. I also, when you're transferring and doing collage, it's a lot easier to work on canvas panels or boards. Yes. Versus a canvas, a pre-stretch canvas. And the reason is, um, some other size. So <laughs> this, this would be gorgeous. I was going to do yeah. her on like an oval, which I think would look work really well. But when you're transferring on a pre-stretch canvas, there's a lot of give. So it's really hard to like bear down and make those marks when you're transferring 80s bangs and <laughs> and it's a lot <clears throat> excuse me it's a lot it's a lot easier if you have these canvas panels they're also way cheaper mm -hmm. they're cheaper than canvases they're super sturdy they're super sturdy so they're great for collage and they're great for transferring and you might be wondering what i did the original one i did was this is actually just watercolor paper so i just paired her in her frame so you can also just use a uh, watercolor paper. You can also do her in a journal if you want to. So um, look at we have matching peacock feathers. Just so you, you did know, so well with I that. know, right? <laughs> so um, so yes. So that's my hot tips on canvases. Um, Manny and I are going to be sharing this peacock. Thank you, feather thingamajiggy. <laughs> And I did include this in the PDF that had the supplies. So if you haven't grabbed your supplies yet, just go to awesomeartschool.com and you can grab the supply list and the traceable, which you'll need both of in order to make sure you have everything that you'll need for Sunday. Because you might not have a peacock feather lying around at home. You might not have a peacock feather lying around um, for sure. Um so Anita says, are you teaching us to draw her if you can't print out an image? I am giving the drawing lesson to my Fun Fab Drawing Club students, and I'm actually going to do the drawing. Uh, I'm not teaching it. We just don't have time to teach her alive. We would be here for all day. So I'm also going to do that a bonus for my Mixed Media Society members and my drawing club members, but it's not going to be a part of Sunday. It would just take way too long. We'd be there forever. Um, and that way, too, everyone can play. Because if you don't know how to draw, that would really suck if you weren't, you couldn't, it would kept you from doing the project. So I, I will always give it a traceable. Uh, and I usually teach drawing, but not in the mixed media society. Oh my goodness. Emily, are you serious right now? You're going to hang out with us? Yay. Yay. Amazing. I can't wait to see you there. We are going to have fun, my friend. So don't even worry about that. Um... Uh, are we doing a background? Well, we are. Yeah. Because we're doing all of this. We're doing all of this, including the background. So she's pretty backgroundy. I can't even like put it in the right way. What did you use for the background for the collage? Yeah. So was it? You can use paper. I used this tissue paper, which oh, is pretty. linked. So the traceable and the supplies are linked at that at awesomeartschool.com. You can go and grab them both. But I use this, and there's a link to this actual tissue paper. On Amazon, so you have plenty of time to grab whatever you need. Tissue paper is so is the is my favorite to collage with. There's like you don't get wrinkles at all, you don't get bubbles, so you don't have to worry about anything. It's like a dream. Uh, book Ooh. paper is my second favorite. Mm -hmm. That works really well. And the older the book pages, the better. I just actually got these. Oh, nice. Which are like old dictionary papers already pre-yellowed for you. That would be perfect too. So good. Yes. Also got on, on those on Amazon as well. I'm just going to scroll back to make sure. Um, what are the headpieces called? I can't remember. I think just look under like flapper yeah. costume, <laughs> flapper headpiece. Mm -hmm. And that would be that. Valerie, you, I saw it. You said I had a question. Did you not see it? I saw that question, but I didn't see. I didn't see your question question. Don't see your question, Valerie. Can you ch chime in again? I see you now, though. 
Um, why is this called speakeasy? Oh, you do you not know what a speakeasy is? Oh my goodness! So a speakeasy is. I feel like a little history teacher right now. Mm-hmm. During the Prohibition era, so in the 1920s, when liquor was prohibited for like 10 years, mm-hmm. they what a speakeasy is like an underground secret bar of fun where yeah. people would sneak into and they would have like bootleg drinks and their showgirls would come. And so it was like their underground. I can't believe you don't know what it's And they needed a password is. to get in. Yes. Which we will be integrating mm-hmm. into our event in some way that will be a surprise as <laughs> well. So yes. So funny. Um... Uh, yes, Jeanette is totally. Yeah, you can search flapper, roaring twenties totally. costume. Yep. Yes. So, uh, Jill, the supplies list is at, on the. It's on awesomeartschool.com. You just click. There's a download for you. Um, a whole page with clickable. I don't even have a copy of it, do I? No. Uh-oh. That has cl- clickable links to absolutely everything that we'll be doing. <clears throat> um, I'm just making sure. Oh. Hi. Claudia, Claudia, I want oh, to show hi, a lesson from you, girlfriend. I am waiting with anticipation because it's going to be amazing. Um, oh, Valerie, here we go. What size is the watercolor paper you did the original mm. on? And why do you call it speakeasy? Okay, so the size that I worked on is just insanely large because that's actually all I had. <laughs> I was ready to do the project. And I didn't want to go buy something new. So mine is, I think it's 18 by 24. That's giant. Which is huge, which is totally unnecessarily gigantic. gigantic. <laughs> I think a 12 by 16 for the size of the PDF I gave you would be perfect. Um, is coffee a good way to age paper? So I've seen a lot. That's a great question. Yeah. I've seen this done a lot. I think I maybe did it once. Um, it's not my favorite because I just don't like my paper to smell like coffee forever. I, that grosses me out a little bit. But yes, people totally people do this. I love coffee. I do love coffee, but I don't want to smell it while I'm doing mm-hmm. my project the whole time. In total transparency, you can also use tea. I've seen tea used more than coffee. Um, yes. <clears throat> um, great question for Lynn. I put the gelato colors on the supply list for you already. Um, but, you know, I don't think I put black on there, but I did do some black for her eye makeup. Oh, cool. Just as long as you have shades, any shades darker than skin tone, you'll be good to go. Anything like terracotta. They've changed the gelato colors over the years, I've learned. So I can't say what I use because they're not Mm. available anymore. But I have new sets with different colors and I use all of them interchangeably. So any kind of like orange or darker yellow or guava peach. Was one you used a lot, right? Yeah, I don't think they call it that anymore. Oh, I know. It's too bad. It is too bad. Your face is chopped in half. Me. Get your butt over okay. here. Okay. Um da, da, da. that's so mm-hmm. funny. Oh good. Oh good Claudia. She's filming Tinny of a cute flappers for me. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Awesome. I want them in my mixed media society. Um, thank you. Yes, there's some links. Avocado used to dye paper. I have no idea. Yeah, I haven't heard of that. I like just using regular art supplies so I know what I am doing. Um, that's a great question, Jamie. Should we transfer the design in advance? Nope. You're gonna we're gonna do the background first. So we'll do the transfer um sketch together, together on the live. That's a super good question. And hi. Nice to see you. <laughs> um, yeah, these are great questions. And I haven't done the project by myself, so I'm learning right along with you. Yeah. And I haven't done it for And a you few get weeks. to watch me whether I mess up or not. <laughs> we are going to do everything together. I would say, though, grab have a hairdryer or a heat mm. gun near you, though, because... Um, just in case I, I do can, I do kind of get a little speedy just because I get excited. So if you want to make sure that you can kind of keep up, I would have a hair dryer next to you so you can like, Oh crap, like she's going and my paint is still dry. You mm-hmm. can actually dry it super fast. Everything we're doing is really fast. If you want to use a hair dryer, um, as well. Oh, avocado, avocado skins, skins. dye wow. paper pink. No way. That's so interesting. That is fascinating. News to me. You never would have guessed pink. I wouldn't have either. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
that list of yeah, giant totally. piles right there? I'm just wondering if my supplies list isn't in there. Um, I also have, no, it's not. I also have a full like edited video coming out where I walk through all the supplies. So that's coming as well. Um, will there be a way to watch it later? Um, there sure is. Yeah, yes. it's just going to be on YouTube, but all the prizes are, oh, the fun stuff's going to be for the people that show up. So I would try to get there if you can, but yep, it's mm -hmm. just not going anywhere. Um, this is going to be streaming to YouTube as well. So, and you can use any of the links in the, if you grab my PDF, I'll email you when it starts and you can use those links to watch it anytime. But the fun is going to be for the people that come in person. That's my, that's my, awesome. that's my show up song. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Diane. Love it. Love me some triple exclamation marks. That's like a girl after my own heart. Yes. All right. Anything else? Anything else? We have a full magical team meeting in nine minutes. So you have nine minutes to get your questions in. And then we are hopping to another another one. So if you, in case you missed it, we are having a full on costume contest. Hmm. And the winner is getting sent my three Art Deco themed books because I am obsessed and it's so fun. I'm going to show you my favorite. You know what actually? Which one is your favorite? Actually, this one is my freaking favorite. Really? Yes. It is. Which piece? I'm just obsessed with all of them. Like, come on. Look at that page. Stop it right now. It does not get it's you so in the mood. In the Mucha truck car? Come on. So Oh my God. I was just at an antique. Uh, I was actually just at an antique. Uh, store the other day, right the same day I got my gramophone. I just love like oh. ancient electronics. Oh, just don't even get me started. But they had this phone and it was so, so cool. I was like, and Sean made so much fun of me. I like this volume two because you can start putting the elements of volume one yeah. together with two. That's so really like nice. we learned dogs and there's a lot of furniture in this one and home mm -hmm. furnishings. But like that they had that phone for sale and I was like dying and sean and billy were making so much fun of me they didn't but let you get it there's like furnishings like stop it right now i want to do them all you can make and then you can put your pieces together and have like a little little vignettes mm -hmm. which are super fun i know and these are also <clears throat> like learn how to draw and render. So I did one in watercolors and then I did one in inks. And a lot of these have uh, like YouTube video component yeah. too, which is extra fun. And there's a lot of animals. People are like, you don't teach animals. I'm like, you just don't have my Art Deco volume two book is what you right. don't have. You gotta keep looking. I sneak all sorts of so many cute dogs. animals in there. So to enter in the contest, you just have to snap a selfie and post it in uh, the Facebook group. And just search Awesome Art School on Facebook in groups. There is an Awesome Art School page, but it's like a kid, like some kid who started it. So that's not us. Um, but yeah, you also learn my quadrant method of how to draw in these books as well, how to draw anything. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that's my favorite. That's my favorite one. <clears throat> um, oh, hi, Ellen. Uh, so whatever time it says for you. So you, you're in the UK, right, Louise? You're in Scotland too, right? So it'll be five hours ahead of us. So it'll be 7 p.m. So we're going on at 2 p.m. And because my best friend is also in Scotland, mm -hmm. I know that time change like nothing. So you guys are five hours ahead. So you, it will be 7 p.m. for you, which I feel like is the perfect time to art. Yeah. Don't you? I feel like it is. <clears throat> um, do, do, do. Hello, Ellen Goodman. Mm -hmm. It's so nice to see your face. All right. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, I have like a special cocktail problem. I have a problem with outbursting in song. I apologize, yeah. I apologize in advance. Um, we are having a special cocktail, but Sean is going to be serving that with the after party. So if you'd like to join us uh, for that, I don't know if you're a club member or not, Leslie. Um, Sean will be, will be serving a He's whipping up a special cocktail. And I also have cocktails in volume two. So <laughs> I'm They're fun to draw. With drawing cocktails mm -hmm. is really fun. Um, Kathy, I know you like Johnny Depp. I do love Ooh. Johnny Depp. When I was 13, I had the best, hottest picture of him on my mirror. It was mm. like a photo. 
I don't even remember where I got it, but it was on my mirror for a very long time. I thought about doing a pirate. No, but I love hot. I love doing hot guys. So mm-hmm. I would definitely do like a hot pirate. Have you not done Johnny Depp yet? I know. That and, would be awesome. Because I got scared of doing famous people for a long time, but I'm less scared now. Yeah. I could whip one out. Don't be scared. That's a good one, Kathy. I hadn't thought about that. <clears throat> um, yeah. So if you need the PDF for the supplies, go to awesomeartschool.com. It's right on the front page. And just to recap, we are doing this girl. Dun, dun, dun. You don't have to. <laughs> but look at the PDF. You still have time. If you don't have a printer, you can take that PDF. You can email it to your local Staples or Office Max and have them print you out a copy for like 10 cents a copy. <clears throat> and then you can do everything along with us. And you could even use your phone or an iPad if you've got the computer on for the actual live. Yes. I've done that before, too. Oh, yeah. If you don't have a printer. Yeah. Forget that. Mm-hmm. Would that be big enough? It would be better than nothing. I guess an you could because would be you okay. could move it around. Yeah, and you could enlarge. Oh, in yeah. A specific area. Did yeah. you guys get – did you pick up on that, what Mandy just said, that you can actually trace on your iPad? Oh, I didn't think about the tracing part. I just thought of looking at the reference oh, for somebody who true. wouldn't mind drawing or. But, you, but some people to use draw. The, the brightness up high, yeah, and then they actually do trace. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, so I know that, that Lucy's done that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All three, heck yeah, all three for the giveaway. Of course, I don't do small prizes. <laughs> Paul smizes. Paul, small. What did I just say? Paul <laughs> smizes. <laughs> Small prizes Small are lame. Prizes. I always nope. go big or go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. And it's so nice thank to you. see you. So nice. I will never not think of Stephanie Nash when when oh. I just think of my glass pen. You will always have a special place in my heart. This is so pretty. Stephanie. I got one for my daughter oh, after you your did video. You? Yes, and she's obsessed. Speaking of which, <gasps> Stephanie, cool. while I have you, look what else I got. I just got this. It's like it like sits. Oh no, it sits on this. One. It sits on this one. Like this. Oh, I love Isn't that. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm hmm. So, Stephanie, I'm still tinkering around with your glass pen and in inspiration coming up on YouTube. So fun. Don't like it needs water in or else they will fall over. Okay, <laughs> anyways, I digress. Well, we're really excited. Oh, yeah. See, Leslie says she's traced from your computer screen. So. Oh, cool. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yes, for sure. And you have plenty of time. It's almost a week still. So, it's Sunday at 2 p.m. Yeah. All right. Looks like a bong. It really does, Leslie. Oh. Not gonna <laughs> yep. lie, legit does. Um, oh, there we go. Ellen says yes. I do what Mandy says. I'm like, if mm-hmm. I forget to print out something, exactly. It's helpful. It is helpful. We can do this. We got this. Yes. All right, ladies. Well, I have to jump into. I wonder what this is. Oh yeah, what's that? Um, I need to run. I we gotta go. We have a magical team member meeting in two minutes. Mm-hmm. Where we're. <laughs> Coming up with new fun things for all of you. So we'll see you on Sunday at 2 p.m. Have a great day. Can't wait. Bye. Bye. You're welcome.